The SeaShield FX70 Structural Pile Repair and Protection System from Denso allows for in-place repair of damaged structures at, above, or below the waterline in marine environments. This system can accommodate piles of various shapes and sizes, uses high-strength materials, and prevents corrosion and deterioration. Installation of the FX70 system begins with the jacket prep. Install FX spacers according to your specific pile shape. If applying grout via pump, attach FX pumping ports to the jacket. Note that installation and positioning of FX spacers and pumping ports are varied by application. Jacket surfaces must be undamaged, clean, and free of all contaminants. If installing multiple jackets on one pile, trim the bottom three inches of the tongue and groove joint of the top jacket so that it will fit into the bell of bottom jacket. For proper bonding, all pile surfaces to be covered with jackets should be thoroughly cleaned. For timber piles, use high pressure water blasting or other mechanical means to achieve a contaminant free surface. Prepare concrete similarly. Remove unsound concrete and repair or replace any damaged reinforcing steel as determined by an engineer. For steel piles, prepare the surface by removing loose rust, marine growth, oil, and other contaminants. Repair or replace structural steel elements with excessive loss. Now it's time to install the jacket. Prepare a cartridge of FX70 TNG paste epoxy per packaging instructions. Run a bead into the groove, then wrap the jacket around the pile ensuring that the top and bottom edges extend at least 18 inches beyond the damaged area. Close the jacket by inserting the tongue into the groove. Ratchet straps can be used to pull the jacket together and provide additional stability. Add external shoring as needed to prevent deflection or rupture. Shoring will vary according to jacket shape. Next, install the FX backer rod at the base of the jacket as a temporary seal. Install the provided 316 stainless steel screws every 6 inches on center to secure the tongue and groove joint. Start the screw spacing approximately one inch from the top and bottom of the jacket. If multiple jackets are required, install the lower jacket first. Repeat the epoxy application on the tongue and groove joint of the upper jacket. Place the jacket around the pile. Then place a bead of epoxy around the bell of the lower jacket. Slide the upper jacket into the bell and install screws. Next, apply the bottom seal. First, mix FX76MP multi-purpose marine epoxy grout per packaging instructions. Trimmy, pour, or pump into the jacket filling the bottom six inches. Leave until cured. Next, apply filler grout type. For applications with less than 25% section loss, Use FX76MP Multipurpose Marine Epoxy Grout. If loss is greater than 25%, use FX225 Non-Shrink Underwater Grout. Prepare grout per instructions. FX76MP may be poured, pumped, or trimmy. FX225 may only be pumped or trimmy. For FX76MP, fill till the top of the jacket. If using FX225, fill until grout level is four inches below the top of the jacket. Allow grout to cure. Sealing the top is the next step. For FX225 applications, a top seal of FX76MP epoxy must be added. Mix and pour into the remaining four inches at the top of the jacket. Leave until cured. Finally, an epoxy bevel must be applied. Prepare FX763 trowel grade epoxy. Add FX702 oven dried rounded silica filler per one part of mixed epoxy. 
using a steel trowel, immediately form a bevel that will allow water to shed. Clean any filler from the exterior surfaces of the jacket. Need assistance? Our engineers are here to offer design and technical support. Call Denso at 281-821-3355 or visit densona.com.